I'm Charlie Jones, and you just saw a brief bio about me. I'm not going to dive too deep into my story. I'll put a little bit in the description box below if you'd like to read more. I just want to dive into this playbook project that I've been working on. But first, I would like to thank the Spring League, Coach Terry Shea, and Coach Sammy Parker for without their time, energy, and efforts, I would not have had the opportunity to display my physical abilities out on the field in Las Vegas this past March. Especially to Coach Shea, I want to thank him for without his precision and um, dedication for his efforts in the Spring League, this project certainly would not have been possible. As far as what this project is, is I took Coach Shea's playbook that he distributed to all the players out in Las Vegas, and I inputted them into an Excel spreadsheet. For this project, I'm just going to be focusing on the pass game, as, because as a receiver, yes, the run blocking game is extremely important, but it's also repetitive as far as assignments. So I want to get as many plays with as much variation as possible, so I'm sticking strictly to the pass game for this project. So I took Coach Shea's playbook, which is a Don Coriel digital West Coast offensive system. Coach Shea was in the NFL for over a decade, um, spent a few years with the Chiefs in the early 2000s, and one year as the Chicago Bears coordinator. And he's also spent several decades um, in the collegiate ranks and is now working with um, the Spring League. So all these plays today are coming from that digital West Coast offensive system. The playbook that was given to us had about 120 or so pass plays, and they were all um, diagrammed just going one direction. Majority to the right, some to the left. So obviously in the game, we can call the same play and flip the formation, go into the right or left. So I double entered all the plays for about 240, 250 total plays. Did some formula work in Excel, and now it spits out a random list of approximately 40 plays that I will go through. As you can see, there's no um, set order for these plays. They just come up at random out of those um, 240 plays. And right now, I'm about to dive in and start drawing up some actions. All right, first play, weak left close. This first play, or, or naked left 207 F high, we're in a close formation, the close tag talking to our Z, um, so he's gonna be four to six yards off our Y. And since we have a naked play action going opposite of our X, his two is normally a slant, but since um, with this concept, we know it's an action two, which calls for a nasty split, four to six yards off the tackle, and an action two, getting to a uh, depth of 12 yards, working across the field, staying flat and friendly, to our quarterback at that depth. Our Z is picking up the seven, and he has a close split. He's gonna have a slow tempo release, trying to sell that um, play action run game before coming out into a 12 yard corner. On this corner, depending on the leverage of coverage, or the quarterback may just do it with the ball in the air, he can flatten out his angle coming out of the break. And lastly, our F is tagged with a high route, so he's just working across the formation, trying to get lost in the wash, before slipping out into B flat. Next play, gun twins left.
All right, on this 99 Dancer H balloon. So let's get that balloon around in there. All right, 99 Dancer H balloons. We'll have our four route or four vertical route concepts on our trips. Our Z and our X are both got max splits, so it's going to be six yards um, off the top of the numbers, and they have mandatory outside release because we want to stretch the defense horizontally. So must um, have an outside release. Our Y in this um, dancer tag has this uh, climb route across the field, starting to get 12 yards over the ball before angling high to 22, and his landmark is the far numbers on the opposite side of the field. That leaves our F. Um, with the vertical route up the seam at a depth of five yards He should be at the top of the numbers and continue up that vertical path right along the top of the numbers He does have the option as the bender to bend inside if the middle of the field is open Against the coverage like cover two or cover zero if there's a cloud coverage safety in the middle of the field He's staying vertical up the seam up those uh, top of the numbers And lastly our H is tagged with the balloon route. So he's slipping out of the backfield he can either sit down on the check down or break out to the right or left. Should have plenty of room in the middle of the field. Maybe get lined up with a um, slower linebacker and have a mismatch and make a play. Right, next play, strong right close. Next play 970 F stop swing. We have our X on the back side of the base split. Um, fade to win against press could be an alert for a quarterback if he likes the matchup on the outside. If not, we have the 70 with our Y and Z. Our Y has this 12 yard corner. Same thing as we talked about earlier, can flatten out on his own, or the quarterback can flatten him out with the ball coming out of the break, depending on coverage. Our Z is tagged with a close split. So he's in four to six off our Y, and he has a zero working across the field at a depth of four to six yards. Our F is tagged with a stop. So he's breaking two yards outside the formation, two yards of depth, and turning back inside. And our H is tagged with B. All right, double right. Two twelve Z Sluggo F Alley. We have our um, X picking up a, a normal three step slant on the back side with a base split. Base split being four yards outside the top of numbers, ball in the middle of the field. Um, and our Z has uh, the same tag or the same two route on the back side, but he's uh, tagged with the Sluggo um, Sluggo route. So he's selling that normal three step slant, taking three steps out of the break before fading high and outside up, up the field. Our Y is picking up the one, he's slipping out into the flat. Our F is tagged with the alley route, running um, vertical up the seam, can bend inside if the middle of the field is open. In our quick jet pass game, our H serving as general protector and ha has the option of slipping out as a check down into a balloon option if a gun left.
All right, 496 deep F flat hook. Our X is tagged with a seam four, so that's a good call for an outside edge split on the outside edge of the numbers. Seam four just meaning he's releasing inside on his dig at a depth of 18. Our Y has a nine, getting vertical, can bend it back in if middle of the field is open. Our Z has the six, it's tagged with a deep, so that means he's coming, attacking vertical upfield at a depth of 10, selling the corner out high at, um, to a depth of 15 before turning back in to um, the quarterback. Our F is tagged with the flat route, just getting out um, outside the formation, quickly into the flat. Our H tagged with the hook, hooking up um, outside formation, four yards of depth. If he's in zone, he can sit down, find a soft spot, be available. If he's facing man, he can continue and run away from coverage. So we would not be hooking up, be running towards the back. Pass left, uh, seam 405 X pump. We have this play action pass game, um, faking a heavy run action, and our X is picking up the seam four, and so it's same outside edge split, seaming inside, except now he has the X pump tag, so he's gonna break in at a depth of 14, sell the seam, um, sorry, sell the dig for a few steps before breaking vertical high up the field. Our Z has a um, action comeback. So normally our fives are run at depth of 18, but since we have play action, we can carry our depth up an extra two yards to 20. Um, if um, if we're, we, we're facing a cover two look, our Z can convert his five to a um, high corner seven in which he's angling at a depth of 22 coming out of his break in order to try to find that soft spot between the corner and cover two safety so against cover two we can convert our fives that aren't locked into sevens y is in protection on this play our f in the power pass game can block and then check out into the flat h is just carrying out his face right bunch right All right, fire pass right, 0 0.72. Our X is picking up a zero, which calls for a nasty split, four to six off the tackle, and he's working across the field at a depth of four to six yards. Our Y is picking up the seven. He has a corner at 12, angling high to 22. Him or the quarterback can flatten out, um, coming out of the break, depending on coverage. Our Z has the two in this bunch formation. It's gonna be another crossing route across the field. He's gonna go high above our X, so he's working over the top at a depth of six to eight. X is working underneath, get that natural rub action at depth of four to six. And fire pass, our F always has a free release out into the flat. Since we're in this bunch formation, he's gonna let this bunch develop, try to get um, lost in the wash a little bit, and then slip out into the flat.
and fire pass protection, or H's responsibility is to cut any immediate outside rush threat. Um, fire pass, quick decision from a quarterback, you need to get those hands. All right, Poco 864 F hitch drag. All right, so our formation dual left. Any formation with a D is going to be two by two, so dual D, two by two. Our um, dual tag tells our X and F to flip, so our X is taking the slot, our F is going to be on the outside, our X is still pick up the first digit, the 8, but it's, which is normally a big post, but with the Poco tag, it's going to be a post corner, so we usually break off our big 8s at 15, but now with the double move, we're going to shorten our break at uh, to 12, and because we have this Poco tag from our X, our F, who cannot, cannot uh, convert their hitch against cover two or press like they normally would because then they would run into our X over the top. So our F is locked in to their six yard hitch route. Our 64 concept on the back side. Our Y is just getting um, vertical up the field to a depth of eight yards and just turning and sitting. He's not trying to uncover or get open, just get into that landmark sitting down trying to occupy defenders attentions so hopefully defenders will be flowing in and our z is working this wrap four behind them with the outside edge split it's a seam four at depth of either 14 somewhere between 14 16 working behind our y who's sitting down should be a nice window for our quarterback and our drag on the end our h is just tagged with drag Green Rack Fox 989, RZ and X both have base splits with these nines getting vertical up, up the field, especially with our Z. It may want to favor a little wider split so we're not so we're really stretching the defense horizontally with our Y who's working this middle eight and probably would also favor an outside release. Both Z and X have fade to win against the press. Our Y is working this middle eight, so he's attacking upfield vertical and and at a depth of 14 is making this decision. Middle of the field is open. He's taking that angle high, continuing on his route. Middle of the field is closed. He's breaking off flat and working um, flat and friendly for a quarterback at depth of 14. And Fox protection are F and H, both serving in protection. F can um, check out to the check down, and our H can check out in.
on Cherry Wright um, 940 F hitch. Our Cherry formation, any formation with a T, it's going to be 3 by one Trey is telling our F and Z um, to exchange positions, so F is on the outside. Our X over here on the back side has this 9. Our Y is picking up the 4, and which is just um, a dig at 14. Our Z is picking up the 0, crossing the field, depth of 4 to 6. Our F is tagged with the hitch route, and now he can convert his hitch into a vertical if he's facing press or cover 2. If not, he's running the hitch at a depth of 6. In jet protection, our H is seven inch general protector. He straight slot. All right, 39, spacing, Y swing, slot tag, tails our Z to come over with our X. Uh, 39, our Z is picking up the three, and he has this four step, because we're in quick jet, so it's gonna be a four step um, speed out at depth of about five to six. Our X has a space split, he has the nine, must have a mandatory outside release, so he's not bringing his defender into the Z um, out in with his quick out. And then our spacing concept with our Y and U. Our Y is going first, six yards over the ball. U releasing off his tail, also getting to a depth of six before hooking back inside. Our H, east left. Five, um, F post, our X and Z both have fives. The only difference is our Z is a lock five, so he does not have the option to convert. He's automatically running the 18 yard comeback regardless of coverage. Our X, however, can convert his five into a um, high corner seven if we're facing um, Cover two, and again on that seven, coming out of our break, we're looking to angle it, uh, angle to a depth of 22, hit that soft spot between the corner and safety. Our Y is picking up a two, four to six yard crossing route um, across the field. Our F has the F post, so he's getting four yards outside formation for to a depth of four yards before he's angling at whatever angle is necessary to cross the defender's face. On his release, he's trying to wide out um, whatever coverage he's approaching, but then he must cross that defender's face. Our Y is also hot on, he's attacking any, um, the inside shoulder of the nearest defender in order to have a quick um, outlet to our quarterback and our H and base coverage, um, if not tagged, has a swing route.
All right, a little bit of a typo here. Um, gun right, jet right, under um, 366, H corner, um, at flat. All right, 366, H corner, it should read F flat, and we should be in 21 because um, gun formation, two backs in the backfield. All right, our X is picking up this three, which would, in normal jet, be a six step out, but since he's tagged with the under three, he's gonna be settling um, with a quick speed out at a depth of about six yards before breaking back inside, similar to our snag, which goes inside to out are um, Y and Z's both have six. So our Y is gonna get six to eight yards over the ball, sit down. Our Z has a regular 12 yard curl. Our H is tagged with the corner route, so he's breaking out of the backfield and then getting to a depth of 10 before angling high on his corner. And that should read F. All right, quick jerk right to 239 F flat. X is picking up the two. Normal three step slant, the base split. Or um, Y has this, 30, um, this three in quick jet. That's gonna call for a um, speed out at depth of five to six. And since we're in our stick concept, our Y can sit down if, he's, if he feels zone coverage. So coming out of the break, he'll just sit down um, in a soft spot. If it's man to man, try to run away with speed speed towards the boundary, our F is work, working underneath, out into the flat. So that means our Z with two outbreaking routes um, immediately to our inside has this nine, which calls for mandatory outside release. So he is not bringing his defender into our Y and F. And then quick jet, H, general protector, um, can slip out as a check down. So I failed to mention these um, last couple of formations with um, that were in east. Our east is just talking to our Y. So he's either going to be um, detached or next to our tackle, but he's always on line. Sometimes it'll be an F or U, depending on what personnel. So for this particular play, we're in 21, so our F is in instead of U. Could run the same play out of 12, and we'd have a second tight end instead of our. Right, so now west, Y. Well, so we do have a U. And of course, randomization, 240 plays, we get the same ones back to back, now we're just flipped. And like I was just mentioning, um, we're now in a different personnel grouping, so we're in 12, so that means our U is in instead of our F. But other than that, it's the exact same play. Our Z has a mandatory outside release, our Y has a speed out, can sit down zone, run away versus man, U getting out to the flat, spice it up a little bit. Um, this same exact play could be called, but we could tag our X with the uh, shake route, so that would still be a base split, selling that two yard um, slant, and then bending out 
to a depth of 12, and that would be um, 2 shake for our x, so it would be 239 x shake f flat. For this play, we don't have the shake, so it's the exact same play as before, just going the other, other direction in width. West left, same formation. Twelve, you, Charlie, ten. Monkey, two nine, pivot X high. Charlie 10, 209 pivot, X high. In our Charlie protection, our Y is protecting, but then can slip out into a quick look, uh, looky route. Um, 209, our X picking up the two. Since he has the X high tag, it calls for a five step. Normally, clean old two would be a three step um, slant, but X high, five step slant, a split. Our Z has a nine. He's also tagged with a pivot. so. Uh, a nine pivot, just attacking vertical of the field. Um, trying to sell that nine route at yeah, depth of eight, breaking down. Um, turn back inside, ball should be immediately there on the outside shoulder. If not, continue to work it back down the stem. And that is Charlie 10. So now we're in solo left. Stretch, make it right. Stretch. All right, so another typo here, this should read fake 90 stretch. We're faking the 90 so we can make it out to the right. And now our, um, our play action bootleg is coming to our X, who's picked up the five. Since we have our play action pass uh, naked coming to our side, this five is locked. And so there is no conversion since the play action pass carry a little extra depth, depth up to 20 on this comeback. Our Y is picking up the two, working across the field at a depth of 12 to 14. Our Z is picking up the um, four, which will be an outside edge seam four at a depth of 16 to 18 on the back side. And our U is tagged with the flat. He's going to sell this run action game, um, try to get lost before slipping out into three left close. All right, green, green left, sorry, close. All right, green left, close. So our close tag is bringing our Z in four to six off our Y. Fire pass left, zero, 24. 
x is picking up the zero, calls for a nasty split, work across the field at a depth of four to six, our two, our two route is being assigned to our y, so he also has a crossing route, he'll go over top or x at a depth of six to eight, and our z is picking up the four, um, he's in this close split, so a little seam four at a depth of 14. And fire pass, our f has a free release out into the flat, our h is cutting any outside rush. Dixie left. Another four vert concept now out of a different formation, our Dixie formation D for two by two. And Dixie calls for our X and Y to be four to six yards. Um, off our tackles, our F and Z, their splits are going to be dependent on the play. For this particular play, F and Z are both got an outside edge split. And now we're running this 999 action. So, but now our X and Y are starting inside, but they will exchange and seam out and up the sideline and our f and z will seam in and up the top of the numbers our z is the bender here middle of the field open can bend his route in if not stay vertical up the seam our f is also staying up the seam our h is tagged with the balloon slip out into the backfield can sit break left or right should have plenty of space underneath to gun twins left lion okey Gun twins left line Oki. This play has no digits. It's one of the few in the system that are just um, in um, just a memorization play. Lion tag indicates that we are in our sprint pass game. Lion being to the left, Ram being to the right. Oki is going to be our 37 concept now with our F and Z, our Y is staying in protection. So our F has a speed out at depth of five to six. Our Z has this outside edge split. And he has the seven. Now our Z um, is looking to break out flat if we have a defender over the top and we can um, just break out flat at a depth of 15 as the defender leverage is underneath. We take that high angle um, and beat him vertical up the field or if we're facing cover two, we can angle out at a depth of 22 yards, 15 to 22 versus cover two, find that soft spot and our X has a nasty split and a four to six yard drag across the field because again we're in line which is our sprint pass game seen this play a couple times now just mixing up the personal groups and sides each time but it's the same thing stick concept with our um, Y and U our Y is a quick speed out can sit down in zone against man right away or use out in the flat because that action is happening on the inside of our Z our Z has a mandatory outside release on his nine 
our X on the back side is picking up the two, uh, just a normal three-step slant, our H, and quick jet goes from protection and can slip out into a right. Two ninety one X sluggo F flat. Our X is pick up this two three step slant. He's also tagged with the sluggo, so that means three steps come out of the break before fading high and outside of the field. That's a pace split. Our Y has this nine, of just attacking vertical off the line. Can bend inside if middle of field is open. Our Z has this um, hitch at six yards with a base split. Facing cover two or press, he can convert to a vertical route. And quick jet, our H is protecting slip out. Strong left counter pass. Right, strong left counter pass, right 805, X stop, our H and F are selling this um, counter run, run game, so our F is pulling across and then can slip out into the flat. Our X is, has this 8, it's tagged with an X stop, so our, um, it means he has a nasty split, 4-6 off the tackle, and he's immediately racing across the um, acting like he's trying to race across the field, but then at a depth of 15, he's stopping one yard outside of the hash, does not want to drift into the island unless the quarterback takes him there. And RZ has the five on the backside, base split, since the play action, the five will carry to a depth of 20, and he can also convert to that corner seven verse two. If there was a naked back to the left, this five would gun. Saw a similar play earlier, but now we're in our jet right, 864 F hitch, um, drag. So our jet just means we have a draw fake between a quarterback and the H, 
and I'm going to start the plug. Our X is picking up the 8, so earlier it is tagged with a poco for a press corner. But here it's just a um, regular 8, so it's going to be a big 8 at a depth of 15. And now our F on the outside can convert this hitch if he's being pressed or sees cover 2. If not, um, he has a hitch at 6. On the, um, with our Y and Z, we have the 64, the wrap, wrap 4 concept. Our Y is getting um, vertical strip the field to 8 as fast as he can, turning and sitting, not trying to uncover, trying to bring defenders' attention and movement towards him. So our Z can work behind him on this Wrap 4 outside edge split, seam release depth from 14 to 16. Should be a nice big window um, immediately behind and after. Right, grid left fox 585 rx and z both have base splits with their five no play action so the depth is at 18 for both of them and they also they both can convert their fives um, to high sevens first cover two our y has this middle eight read so a depth of 14 middle field open it's continuing vertical high up the field middle field closed he's breaking off flat and fox protection F and H both in protection, then F can slip out into a check down. F or sorry, or H can check out into Right, another variant of the four vert concept. This time out solo left slot. So slot again, talking to cover Z to come over um, into the slot with our X. And so now that on the 999 jungle H balloon, our X and um, our X and Y are releasing outside, trying to run up that jungle line four yards off the sideline. Our Z is releasing. Um, up uh, the top of the numbers and he's staying vertical unless the middle of the field's open he's free to bend it inside or you is releasing um, an angle to the middle of the field and then he's taking his route vertical immediately um, up the middle of the field trying to split the goal post and our H again has this H balloon on all these 999 uh, four vert concepts in order to give him a lot of space to either sit, break left, or right.
our Chong left close, counter pass right, 7 to 2, X pump. Our X is picking up the 7. He's also tagged with the um, pump, so that means he has the outside edge trying to sell that uh, flat 7. And then he's taking three steps coming out of his break um, before turning up the field, trying to take an aggressive advantage of an aggressive defender. Big shot up the field. RZ has this close split and has this action too at depth of 12, working across the field. A Y staying in protection. H and F carrying out. So great. Frisco, again, no digits, one of the memorization plays. This formation is solo right, so Y's on the right, but he also has the open tag, so he's attack, um, detached out wide with the base split. And Frisco, he's picking up a three-step slant on, with our X and Z. Our X also has a three-step slant, and our Z is running a quick flat route. Our U is running a spot six yards. All right. Another memorization play, green, right, slot, um, lion option. So lion, again, is one of our sprint um, uh, sprint pass game calls. Lion being to the left, our Y is going to stay in protection. Our slot tag, formation tag is telling our Z to come over with our X. Our Z has this um, quick, quick out, just three-step explosion out into the flat. Our X has this spin four. So he's accelerating up field at depth of 14, trying to sell a dig, breaking in flat for about um, three, four steps before breaking back out uh, flat towards the sideline. So spin, spin four, similar to our two snag, except obviously the depth is um, higher. Strong, strong close right, fire pass right, 271. X has this normal um, base split, three step slant. Our Y has a seven, uh, corner route, breaking off at 12, angling high to 22. Him or the quarterback can flatten him out, come out of the break. Our Z it has this close alignment and he has a one. This one is gonna be a hunted one, so he is, um, Breaking vertical upfield at depth of six. He's using Y um, to he's playing off Y. He should be carrying defenders with him, clearing out space. And Z is just searching for this 
um, open area, wherever it may be, um, once he gets to his depth. And if he does have to move and try to separate, he's always looking to work inside to find that open space because he does not want to take his defender with him out into the flat where our F is going to be occupying that space. So our hunt one, six yards hit, hitch, and you must work inside to find the opening space, never go outside. And fire pass, the said F has a free release, H looking to cut any outside. All right. Saw a 525F post earlier, so our X and Z both have base splits with their fives at a depth of 18. Our Z has a lock five, so no conversion. Our X can convert to a high seven um, at an angle of 22. If we have a cover two look, our Y is going to be hot, so he's attacking the nearest um, defender's inside shoulder, so he's available for our quarterback he's facing pressure. Our F has this F post, drawing not to scale, but he's getting four yards outside formation, four yards upfield, crossing the defender's face at whatever angle is necessary. 5.5 F post, H, so we'll rate. Solo right slot, gut pass right, 44, wide corner, gut pass, play action with our H carrying out the fake, then checking out into the flat. Our 44 um, concept is with our X and Z on the back side. X has a base split, he has a big dig at 20. Our Z has a smaller dig on the inside at 14. U in gut pass is in protection. Our Y is tagged the wide corner. Um, angling. Um, on that corner route from 12 to 22 can flatten depending on coverage. So Dixie right. Alright, gun dicks, you're right. 37 blades stop. Our 
Dixie formation, Y to the right, and our X and Y are both attached for six yards off the um, tackle. Our X is um, outside release and trying to sell this corner out, angling high at depth of 10, but with the stop tag, his um, planting, um, his foot turning back um, towards the quarterback at a depth of 15, same exact route on for our Y, really trying to sell that corner route before planting and turning back to our um, quarterback and our Z and F, both are inside releasing before they have their um, outs at depth of five to six yards. Our H and jet protection, general protector slip out into a check down. Um, Done bunch right. Gun bunch right, zero, nine, 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 dancer, H, balloon. Alright, um, our X has the zero, calls for nasty split, four to six off the tackle, crossing the field at a depth of four to six. Bunch formation, Y is the point unless otherwise tagged. So no tag, that means our Y is at the point with the dancer. He is, has this climbing route from 12, um, 12 to 22, aiming point landmark far, um, far numbers. Our Z is wheeling up the sideline, holding that jungle route four yards off the sideline. Our F also has an outside release. His landmark is the top of the numbers, and he's the bender, middle of the field open. He can um, bend his route in. If not, he's staying up the top of the numbers vertical up the field. H has the balloon route, slip down the backfield, has his choice, sit, break right or left. And on this one, probably just one break. We'll only want to break out to the left because our X will be working his way across. Right, bottom the right, I haven't seen this formation yet. Bomber, our Y is detached and off the line. Z, six slice. All right, bomber right, base right, um, seam 496, slice F flat hook. Our X is picking up the seam four on the backside, outside edge split, um, seam release inside, and breaking flat at depth of 18. Our Y has this nine, attacking vertical off the line, can bend it in if middle field is open. Our Z has this six slice, so he's trying to sell the route. Um, Sell the vertical route hard up the field at a depth of 18. Plant, turn inside, ball should be there. If not, work back down the stem. Our F is tagged with the flat, and our H is tagged with the hook route. Uh, at a depth of four yards, he's hooking, turning in. If he has man, he's trying to run, with, run away with speed towards the boundary. Six, six, six. Um, flat. 
Cut left, face left, 660, 666, uh, flat. So our Z and X both have base splits, 12 yard curls, run it routes are Y as the six yards over the ball, F and H both have flat routes, getting outside formation, breaking out into the flat. West left slide. U. West left slide left 585. West our Y is going to be tight, still in line. Our U offset right outside them. And slide protection our Y is in protection. Our U is picking our U or F is picking up the middle digit. Since we're in 12, we have a U in instead of an F. So 585, same concept. Z and X both have base splits with a um, five at depth of 18. No play action. Fives are at depth of 18 and both can convert to um, corner sevens and going high to a depth of 22 if we see cover two. Our U, now picking up the eight, has a middle eight read at depth of 14, sees if middle field's open, keeps that angle high, um, splitting the defense. If the middle of the field is closed, he's breaking off flat uh, towards the middle of the field. And in the slide protection, our H is helping out with our Y, who's probably good be matched up with the defense, athletic defensive end, and then he can slip out into the flat. All right, bottom of the right. All right, bomber right, base right, bang, 844. Ricky, our bomber for, oh, this should be, our Y should be detached and off the line and bomber. So our Y and bomber formation off the line and uh, detached from the tackle. All right, bang, 844. So now we have a bang eight from our X. Uh, split right in the middle of the numbers. He's angling. Um, he's trying to widen out this corner on his, on his stem and at a depth of 12 yards, trying to take that high angle to a depth of 22, really not going at, uh, much further than inside the numbers. So it's a really skinny, high vertical route. But if he is facing inside leverage corner with free access, he must cross his face similar to our F post. So we have free access inside leverage corner, man to man. Um, our, we're taking whatever angle is necessary to cross that defender's face. If we're facing cover two or press man, we'll just convert our bang eight to a vertical wrap. Now our 44 between our Y and Z. Our Z has a base split, big dig at 20, Y um, smaller dig at 14. Our Ricky call is just a flat. Um, wrap for F, or H, getting through the line, also breaking out towards the right. Down the left, close. Close left, eight bullets, nice play. Let's see this.
All right, gun left, close slide, left, 802 bullets. So the slide protection or Y is gonna be in. Our 802, so our X, this eight is going to be a crossing eight. So he has that nasty split, four to six yards off the tackle. This crossing eight, he's just racing high across the field, crossing a middle safety space. Our Z is picking up this two. He has a close split, working across the field at a depth of four to six. And slide protection or F is helping out our Y. He may have a mismatch with his defensive end. And then he can get out into the flat. Our bullets is talking to our H. So he's wheeling wide and then high um, up the field. If we have man coverage and we have a mismatch, uh, our H has a speed advantage on his linebacker. So it's a nice opportunity to get a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside. Chance for a chunk play. That is it. Nice play to end on.